Hey everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this amazing generic type animation inspired by Pixray. This animation is very easy, but it has few tricks that I highly suggest you to watch this video until the end. Also, let's give a huge shout out to Pixray for its amazing works. Now, let's continue. Alright, so here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So I have an angel folder in here which consists of an assets folder which I have some textures that we are going to use for this video and they are crucial and I have a main folder which I'm going to place my main composition and there is a precomps folder which I'm going to put my text designs in this folder. So let's just start with the text design and I'm gonna I start with a new composition. I'm gonna call it 0, 0 and the width and height is set on 9020 by 9020. The frame rate is set on 24 frames per second and let's hit OK. Now let's start with our word. I'm gonna write the word angel and let's align it to the middle. Now we don't need any text animation so we just need to add a one effect which is wave warp but before that let's just turn it into shape. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add the wave warp effect. Now we need to tweak a few settings in here. So I'm just going to change the wave type from sine to sawtooth. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change the wave height to 40, the wave width to 200. So we will have something like this. However, I'm just going to set the direction to 45 degree. And then I'm going to change the pinning from none to all edges. So now we will have this animation, which is exactly what we want. Now let's make the edges a bit smooth by adding an a uh, Gaussian blur effect. So then I'm going to set the blurness to a number such as 20. And then I'm just going to add a curves effect and I'm going to change the channel to alpha. And I'm going to just graph like this. So as you see, now our edges has a bit uh, sort of chunkiness to it, which is uh, a bit better so let's get set the render to quarter because this is a heavy effect that we are going to use in a few moments and it's best we work on quarter so now what i'm going to do on the next step i'm going to duplicate this comp and i'm going to call it zero one and then i'm going to open the zero one composition and all i need to do on this composition is to change the wave height from 40 to minus 40. so that is good. Now let's get back to the project panel and this time I'm going to create a new composition and this is going to be our main one and I'm going to drop it into the main folder and now let's stylize our main text. Now before we get to the styling if you have enjoyed this video so far it would be really nice of you to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content. Thank you so much. Now let's continue. So what I'm going to do on this step is that I'm just going to bring the 0 comp and 0 1 comp as well. And then I'm going to just create a new background and let's place it beneath. So what I'm going to do on this step is that I'm just going to add a gradient ramp effect for the comp 0. And I'm going to set it, for example, to here. And then I'm going to copy this gradient ramp. I'm going to paste it for 1. 0, 1 composition and I'm just going to swap the colors and you might ask why I did that and it is basically because of the textures that I'm going to add in a few moments and it's for the best if you do this step like at first and if you don't do it you will probably face a few challenges because we are going to use an adjustment layer and as you know the adjustment layer affects everything so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to reveal the background now and then I'm going to stylize it even further by adding an inner glow. So let's go towards the layer styles and add an inner glow. So as you see, as soon as I do that, we have some kind of strokes around the 001 composition. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add an stroke layer. And I'm going to set the stroke on 8 and let's just change its color to black. So this is the main design that we have in here. Now it's time to create our texture. Well, to do that, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a new adjustment layer and let's call it texture. And I'm going to start with the CC ball action. So basically, as you see, we have few uh, balls in here. 
So I'm gonna change the ball size to 50 and I'm gonna change the shading to 100. So this is our basically our texture. Now I want to uh, sort of rotate this uh, texture so I'm just gonna add a transform effect and I'm gonna set it on minus 45. So let's just push the transform for now above the uh, CC ball action and I'm gonna set it on minus 45. Now as soon as I do that, as you see, it will affect everything. So we can fix that by duplicating the comp and placing it beneath the CC ball action. So now it will control everything below. So I'm going to just clockwise rotate it for 45 degree. Now as you see, our ball positions has changed. So this is what we want. Now I'm going to add a fill effect and I'm going to set it on black and then I'm just going to start uh, I'm just gonna get the blacks by adding the solid composite so now as you see we only have the uh, let's set the engine on full for now we have the uh, sort of the black uh, balls in here which which is what we exactly we want and now what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna reveal the original comps by adding a CC composite effect okay that is good now let's change the transfer mode from in front to a hard mix but what i'm going to do uh, before that i'm just gonna add a gaussian blur effect and i'm gonna push it above the cc composite this is really important and now i'm just gonna slowly increase the blurriness to get the uh, sort of the uh, balls inside of the and um, text so i'm just gonna set it on eight so eight seems to be fine or nine is good all right now our main design has done and so we can add the gaussian blur for one more time and this time we can push it beneath the cc composite and this time i'm gonna just set it on two for a better texture and lastly we can colorize it by adding a tint effect so now let's just uh, set the whites to black so i'm just gonna change the white colors to black and my computer runs slowly so let's just turn the rendering to third and then let's just set the hue for example to 340 i'm gonna set the saturation to um, 60 and the brightness to 100 so this is good so as you see our main design is done and now it is time to add a bit more textures into it so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to open the asset folder in here and i'm going to bring the texture labs paper 189 and i'm going to place it beneath the textures and uh, come texture adjustment layer and what i'm going to do is that on this next step is that i'm going to change its mode from the normal to overlay so now we have some texture in here and however let's just zoom it a bit so you can understand where it's affecting it's almost affecting in here which is good now as i have mentioned we created this gradient ramp effect for controlling the texture so basically now i can adjust the overall texture which i'm going to do and now what i'm going to do on the next step is that i'm just going to go towards the assets folder again and this time i'm gonna bring the texture labs paper 128 so this is the main texture and let's just decrease its size a bit around here and let's change its mode for example to difference this time so now we have a nice uh, line in here which is exactly what we want now the other two textures that i'm going to add is above the texture layer so i don't want to get affected by the um texture adjustment layer so i just want to add a bit grunge texture at this point so i'm just gonna add the 130 163 and let's set this mode on screen and as you see it's bit bright so let's add a curves effect i just like this that seems fine okay now let's just duplicate the 189 one more time and this time let's set this mode on add and i'm gonna just copy the curves effect and i'm gonna play with it a little bit more so as you see we are done with our 
design so it is time just to stylize it and you know change it however you like so you can just push the dark channels above to sort of reveal some of these spots in here which i'm going to do oh, oops and then you can use the almost this gradient to make it like this all right here we are at the end of this video and i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave out to like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content also if you want to learn more you can check these two videos that will pop up right now thank you so much goodbye